It's Victoria. I once came to blows with someone over the correct way to pronounce the word scone. You mean scone? <laughs> scone. OK, David. I think you've got to the root of the issue. Yes, there. yes. Um, you came to blows, did you say? What happened? Um, Jane at school asked us all how we pronounced the word <laughs> scone. How old were you? I was 14. 14? And, and why was you debating scones? Um, <laughs> was this not an issue at your school, Jamali? No, I think we grew up differently. <laughs> 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 Define come to blows. Um, I pushed Helen Webster against the lockers. <gasps> what about Jane? Oh. What about Jane? Jane had said, "How do you pronounce gone?" Yeah. And I said, "Scone." And then blooming Helen Webster. <laughs> <laughs> and then Helen said, "Oh, if you pronounce it like that, you're a snob." Or a snob. Or a snob. <laughs> So, how do you pronounce it, David? I would pronounce it scone, and I think the reason I pronounce it scone is because I'm a snob. <laughs> <laughs> I think scone sounds less snobbish. There's something about yes. scone. No, I think yes. scone. I think scone is quite no. like I'm having, scone. Scone. I'm having a scone. I'm having a scone. Oh, scone is common as muck. What do you say? I say whopper. <laughs> <laughs> I think eating scones is kind of snobby in itself. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying I ever ate them. I honestly, this is the first time I've ever even heard of a scone. Are you joking me? I've, I've, no, I was saying it for comical effect. I have. Oh, sure. <laughs> I have, I have And they're very nice with a bit of cream and jam. <laughs> so what do you think? Is she telling the truth about this? It is an area where, you know, that pronunciation is linked to people's views on class. I find the way you pronounce class quite posh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I am famously exceptionally posh. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> fam I am like the poshest person on earth. That's my whole <laughs> shtick. I eat nothing but pheasant. <laughs> yeah, that's... And when he says so, pheasant, you know... he means a peasant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, yet, and yet you say scone, I guess. Yeah, yeah because, yeah. It, because yes. I hate to the... tell you, that is the posher way of it saying it. But you say it's the posher way. I'd say 99.9% .9 of people say scone, like me. No, they oh. don't. Fight. Oh, yes, fight. they no. do. Fight, fight. Give us a cheer if you say scone. <laughs> Give us a cheer if you don't know how to pronounce it properly. So there you go. That, I, I might have, <laughs> might have, <laughs> might have <laughs> slightly put in the window that survey. <laughs> slightly. <laughs> so, what do you think? Is she telling the truth? <laughs> I, uh, well, what do you think? <laughs> How masterful of you! Thank you. <laughs> masterful. <laughs> oh, he's just. I want to push him against a locker. <laughs> and when I say locker, I mean bed and nails. <laughs> when you say bed and nails, you mean bed. <laughs> Do you think it's true? So I really like Victoria, but I think deep down within her there is a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm saying true. Jamali, what do you think? Do you know what? Like, in my mind, I don't think people at private school fight like that. Like, I, that seems like something that happened in my school, like, push up against the locker. I expect more of, like, a glove slap and a duel. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to say it's true. I think Victoria would be raging over scones. What's it going to be, David? I think we think it's true. OK, Victoria, it was a harrowing tale. Is it true or is it a lie? It is... true. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, Victoria did come to blows over how to pronounce scone. 